the idea behind a confidence interval. Okay? So don't think of it as two numbers. It's millions of numbers in between. This is, by the way, referred to as interval notation. It doesn't mean x, y like in an algebra class. This means millions of numbers in between, and the population parameter, in this case population mean, would be anywhere in between these two numbers. Right? That's how you understand a confidence interval. Millions of numbers in between these two, and the population could be any of them. Now, sometimes you'll see this written in, uh, in uh, inequality notation. So it has the inequality symbols. Uh, also, this was a population mean. If you remember, the Greek letter mu is often used for population mean. So some stat books, you might see this as mu is between 98.042 degrees Fahrenheit and 98.478 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's just another way of writing it. It means the same as this. Usually, if it comes off a computer program, it'll be written like this. Now, the most important thing is not the calculation. The most important thing is the understanding. So you should know the margin of error definition. You should also know the definition of confidence interval. And one of the most important things is you should be able to write a sentence to explain the confidence interval to someone. Right? That's what, that's what we do in stats. We explain things to people. We do all kinds of fancy calculations, but at the end of the day, we need to explain it to somebody that does not know statistics. So here would be the sentence for the confidence interval. This is called the confidence interval sentence. So we are 95% confident. Notice I'm referring to what confidence level was used in the calculation that the population mean average human body temperature is between 98.042 degrees Fahrenheit and 98.478 degrees Fahrenheit. See the sentence? Very important that you can write the sentence to explain it. By the way, notice I didn't say we are 95% sure. I said we are 95% confident. That's not a subjective confidence. That's, that's telling statisticians sort of how it was calculated that I used a 95% confidence level in the calculation. Don't overlook this part of the sentence. Always write it. Always say, I am 95% confident, or we are 95% confident. Um, that's an important part of the sentence. All right? So next time, we're going to get more into the calculations. So how do we get margin of error, and how does this all work? How did the computer get this, you know, all this, all this stuff? So we're going to be looking at the calculations more in depth in our next video. All right, so this is Intro Stats with Matt Show. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.